In this session, we are going to get started using and working with a document, with the basic functions here in the document. So if you wanted to create a document from scratch, of course, just click here in the white space and simply start typing. For the sake of simplicity at this point, I'm going to just go ahead and bring in a document that has just some plain text and we'll work with that specific document. Let's assume that we have this document. You typed it. There's nothing special about it. Um, I copied and pasted this. And by the way, this is the credit for the document where I got the information from. So all it is, it's about 24 pages of text. Let's assume that we have this long document that we want to tweak at this point as we learn how to use Word 2016. So uh, just a couple of things for you to remember here is that if we wanted to change any of this stuff about this document, you know, this is that if we want to change the, the font, of course, select it and then simply choose a different font here. Change the size. Notice that some of the icons, so you can make it bigger or smaller. Notice some of them, they also have a drop down that you can customize to make everything lowercase or uppercase. Or, for example, in the case of um, the spacing here or the font, just uh, as a key concept here is that there's additional options and drop downs. Additionally, remember there are also these options here to expand and customize, for example, the, anything related to the fonts. And this is very similar to the old interface. So as you are working with text, so let's assume that this is your text that you're working with. Notice that as soon as I release the mouse after I select the text, there is this mini toolbar. The mini toolbar has some of the quick options that you could potentially use here in Microsoft Word, whether it's related to the font or some of the basic functionality to it so that you don't have to reach with a mouse up here on the top or under the ribbon, but you're basically tweaking this simply within without moving the mouse too far. So again, you select it, the quick uh, mini toolbar shows up and you pick the option that you want to utilize. The other thing as we get started here is that if you're not sure as to what something does here, uh, remember that you can always hold the mouse on the icon and it will show you what that does. So it gives you a description of what that function is and what it does. I could select those and this is basically using the bulleted lists. So if I want just simply dots here, notice I just selected the text, chose this. If I want a different particular kind, I can simply click on the drop down and pick one of those. Or if I wanted numbers, you can do it like that. If for some reason you want to customize something within the bulleted list, you can change the levels. You can customize uh, down here as well by set the numbering style and things of that nature as well. So the tip here is that the computer is not going to break. Just tinker with all the different options. If you want to learn the program and the application here, click on the various different options and see what they do. That's the best way to learn an application on your own as well, besides following this tutorial, of course. So in the next segment here, I'm going to go over how to utilize styles in formatting text and making it easier to provide consistency in the document and uh, save you time. So stay tuned for the next segment.